Welcome to another edition of Dan 5 Minute Factoids. Today we're going to be talking about ENT or ear, nose and throat problems and specifically ear and sinus equalizing. We got an impassioned email from a diver uh, that really moved me and I'm only going to give you a summary of it here. Essentially this diver has been struggling for years, were only able to finish their first CMAS course and during the second CMAS course they had to stop it because of sinus problems. They've been for several diving medicals. Uh, they've, uh, this individual has had uh, reconstructive surgery of the sinus uh, um, or the nasal septum and uh, various other procedures, polyp removal and they still have sinus problems that bar them from diving and they're longing to get back into the water as most divers do and uh, the sinuses and the sinus problem is preventing them. So a couple of things we'd like to share with you and specifically with this individual. Uh, first of all, we would like to really uh, so recommend that you look at this video in which we show you the opening of the Eustachian tubes. Now you're actually going to see how we move from the hard palate back to the back of the throat and looking upwards, you're looking at the bone that divides the nose into two parts. It's called the nasal septum and this individual had reconstruction of the septum and on both sides you can actually see uh, fleshy mounds which are called the mountain of the tube or the torus tiberius and that's the opening of the Eustachian tube. Now in between all of this you have openings to the various sinuses and what you're seeing on this video clip is the nasal cycle which means that every two hours our nose lining actually congests and that's part of normal nasal maintenance but for people with equalizing problems with sinus problems this can present some additional challenges so a couple of things we'd like to say to this individual first of all you asked that uh, you'd like to be referred to a knowledgeable ENT that understands diving medical issues. And we'd like to refer you to our DAN database in which we list specialists in ear, nose and throat speciality that are also divers and are passionate about diving and have the skill set to deal with sinus problems. So please visit the website and have a look. If you happen to be an ENT and you're watching this video clip, we'd like to encourage you to actually tell us about yourself and uh, so we can refer divers to you in the future because ear, nose and throat problems are the most common problems in diving. Then we'd like to recommend to divers to avoid irritants before they go diving. For at least two days before you go diving, avoid all milk products. Many, many people have a low-grade allergy to milk products and uh, just two days of avoiding dairy can make a big difference. And if you're a smoker, well, of course we'd like you to quit, but if you can't quit, then at least nine or at the lowest four hours before diving, don't smoke because smoking irritates the Eustachian tube and it makes it harder to equalize. So give yourself the best possible chance by making sure that you don't add any irritation or inflammation. To our diving ENTs uh, that are already listed on our database, please make sure that we've got your latest details and that we can refer people to you effectively because uh, we, we really need you and uh, we're very grateful that you provide the service to our DAN members and non-DAN members that call us. Visit our website, look at our resources, look at the equalizing techniques video. We'll give you all those references. You can see them over here. Uh, and last but not least, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or communicate with us 
in various means, visiting our website, calling our information line, and just letting us know who you are. Uh, we'd like to communicate with our members, and we really need your active involvement. So thank you for joining, Dan. Thank you for looking at uh, this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to give us the thumbs up that you did so. Until next time, safe diving.